how to get clients for your social media marketing agency. How to get clients is one of the most commonly asked questions among people who want to start their own social media marketing agency. And getting clients was actually something I struggled with a lot just a couple of months back when I had my first marketing business. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to get past the problem of getting no leads for your social media marketing business. And I'm also going to be giving you guys some tips on how you can actually close those leads that you you get. So the first thing that we are going to be talking about here in today's video is how to get more leads for your marketing services because it's obvious that the more leads that you get for your marketing services, the higher chance you will have of actually getting a client for your agency. So for me, I am getting leads from LinkedIn, Facebook, and Upwork. All of these have been going pretty well for me so far, but the first one I wanna talk about today is how I am getting leads from Facebook. So guys, on Facebook, what I am doing is very simple. I am joining groups in my niche, which for me is landscaping business owners. And then once I am in those groups, I start networking with the people in there. The first message that I typically send to a landscaping business owner goes a little bit something like this. Hey, what's up? I just came across you on Facebook. I figured I'd reach out to see if you might be interested in what I do to help landscapers bring in new residential clients. If so, we can chat about how I can get that done for you. Guys, that's literally all I write to start out. I try to keep things super subtle. Don't be too pushy or anything like that. I just ask if they want to chat with me. Of course you wanna optimize that message to whatever niche you are targeting. For me, it's landscapers. For you, it might be something else. It can be pool cleaners, it can be anything. It's just important that you pick a niche for social media marketing. But that's literally all I recommend that you write for a message if you are doing Facebook outreach. It's important that you are not too pushy or people will just completely blow you off. So guys, all in all, Facebook is one of my most effective methods of getting leads for my marketing agency. I typically send at minimum 50 messages to business owners per day and I follow up with every single reply that I end up getting to the initial messages that I send out. Facebook is super effective and it's a free way of getting leads for your marketing agency. With that all being said, we are going to move on to the second way that I get leads for my marketing business, which is through LinkedIn Outreach. On LinkedIn, I am using an automated program known as DuckSoup. If you guys don't know what DuckSoup is, it's basically a bot that will automatically send connection requests to people on LinkedIn who you tell it to. So for me, I am targeting landscaping business owners, so I type in that on LinkedIn and then I make DuckSoup send friend requests to people on that list. And it's been working really well for me. I'm reaching out to about 100 landscapers per day, which is just crazy because it requires almost no work on my behalf. All I have to do is run the bot. But unfortunately, the bot does cost me about $14.99 per month, which in my opinion is 100% worth it. Once I connect with a landscaper, I send them a personalized video message that goes a little bit something like this. Hey man, we just connected via LinkedIn and I actually wanted to reach out because I saw you were the owner of ABC Landscaping and I thought that was super cool because I am also in the landscaping niche. I do a little bit of digital marketing for landscapers and I just love to meet new people. It's really awesome for me to do that. I really enjoy meeting landscapers. So if you have a second to chat, maybe 15, 30 minutes tomorrow or later today, I'd be totally down for that. Let me know, man. Sending a video message to a business owner can really go a long way as it helps you distinguish yourself from other marketers trying to pitch their services. And it really makes you seem credible and confident if you decide to send a video message to a business owner. So I hope you guys got a lot of value out of me telling you how I get leads from LinkedIn. And now we're going to be moving into the last way that I get leads for my marketing business right now, which is through Upwork. 
The final and simplest way that I am getting leads for my marketing business is by using Upwork. Upwork is super easy to use. All you literally need to do is you need to make an Upwork account get approved and then you can start applying to jobs and you can start reaching out to businesses who are in need of marketing services. On Upwork, you're going to work as a freelancer, so you probably won't be getting paid as much as from clients you meet from like Facebook or LinkedIn, but all in all, it's still a great way of getting leads if you're first getting started with your marketing business. It is super important to know that the more clients you are bringing into your business, the more leads that you will be getting in the long run. So the next thing I want to get into is how to improve your closing rate. This is something that a lot of marketers don't put enough emphasis on. It is your job to make the potential client excited about what you have to offer them without being pushy or trying to sell them something right off the bat. So next, I'm going to give you guys a series of tips of what you need to be doing when you are pitching potential clients for your marketing business. I know for a fact that 99% of social media marketers are trying to one call close their potential clients. And it's honestly not realistic if you want to close high ticket clients or if you want to keep your clients for the long term. You need to take at least a few calls learning about a potential client's business before you even mention the fact of working together. For my business, I do three calls before I even mention working with a potential client at all because at that time, I have built enough rapport and I've showed them that I really do know what I'm talking about and I get them excited about what I have to offer before I show them that price tag. Don't try to push any partnerships with business owners too quick. You want to make sure that they're interested. You don't want to be pushy or, or anything like that. It really will hurt your business over the long term. There's a famous quote, the hungry don't get fed. And it's so true when it comes to SMMA. You don't want to push for anything or that client will just not be interested and completely blow you off. You have to build rapport before you offer anything. The next thing that I want to mention in terms of closing clients for your social media marketing business is that you need to learn how to handle objections like that price is way too high or how can I trust that you're actually going to do marketing for me and just take my money and run. You need to make sure that all of those objections are out of the way before you actually go for that close and tell that client how much you're going to be charging them. Because once you show them the price tag and they still have objections in their mind, they're not going to see your marketing service as an investment and they're going to think you're either trying to scam them or they're going to think that your service isn't worth that much and they're not going to end up working with you. But if you have all of the objections out of the way, they're going to see your service as an investment and they're really going to be excited to end up working with you. So the last thing I want to talk about when it comes to closing clients for your social media marketing business is that you want to be genuine with the people you meet with and you want to try to connect with them as best as possible. This is something that's kind of difficult for me to do because a lot of times the people I meet are older men and I can't really relate to them that well because a lot of times they'll mention like their kids or their grandkids and I can't relate to that at all. Like I'm 16 years old. I don't have kids. I obviously don't have grandkids. So I really can't relate to any of the experiences they're talking about in their personal life. So what I try to do is I try to relate to them on the business side of things because I've run multiple businesses in the past year and I can really relate to a lot of the struggles they try to express to me. And that's kind of how I get the clients to connect with me and really like me as a person and not only be excited about my service, but also like me as a person. Because if your clients really can connect with you and they can see your vision and they understand you as a person, they're going to be more likely to actually pull the trigger and work with you. Okay guys, with that all being said, I think that's gonna about wrap up today's video. I know I dropped a ton of value that people are charging thousands of dollars for in social media marketing courses, and I am giving it away to you guys for 100% free. And all that I ask that you do for me in return is that you like the video and you check out more content on the Financial Wolf channel. Peace out. Thank you.